to reintroduce ourselves? <laughs> Hi, I'm Lindsay Weinberg, also known as Dough Life. Should we make some Play-Doh trolls today? Yeah. Should we teach yeah. everyone how to make Play-Doh trolls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Now, when I do Play-Doh art and post it on Dough Life, I tend to do things way more intricate, um, much more detail than it takes me a long time. But this project is something that you can do at home with your kids. So everyone pick a color that you're gonna start with. We're gonna start do, by doing the face. So pick the skin color that you want, okay? I'm gonna pick lavender. I'm gonna squish it up and roll it out. So you've got a flat pancake you can make your oval. Now we're gonna make our eyes. So when I make a character's eyes, I like to use three circles. The large is gonna be the white, the medium is gonna be whatever color you want her, her or his eyes to be, and the small will be for the pupil. So we roll out the large white, and then I just press it down to flatten it into a circle and stick it right on. I'll do that with both eyes. Then the medium one is gonna be blue. I chose that just because I want my troll to have blue eyes today. Press that right on. And then the other eye. And then we're gonna do our small black circle for the pupil. Now, if you wanna get a little fancier, you can take a little tiny piece of white and make a little tiny circle. And that can be just a fleck of light in your troll's eye. Remember, it's gonna be really small, smaller than you even think it would be. And that just gives a little added detail that I always like. We're gonna make the nose out of the same color and then you can make it a little bit more of an oval shape by rolling it out like this. And then you're gonna take a little tool, you can use a Play-Doh cutter, a knife, a toothpick, anything, and you're gonna make two indentations. And this is gonna give you the shape of the troll nose. So we'll go ahead and stick that on. And since my kids love using any kind of Play-Doh knife or cutter or anything that is safe for them to use, but feels a little grown up, they love to do their smiles with a knife. It's a nice, easy, tactile way to let your kids put a nice, happy smile on your troll. We gotta give this troll some ears so he can hear all of the music. And what I'm gonna do for the ears is I'm gonna take two pieces, I'm gonna roll them into balls, and I flatten it out just a little. And if you can see what I did here, when I push down, I don't push right on the middle of it. I push on one side and it creates an indentation like the outside of an ear. So when you put it on, you get that ear shape. There we go, our troll's got some ears. Now comes the fun part. What do you want to use for the hair? Our favorite things to use for the hair, I would say, are feathers. Actually, I'm going to tell this to the people. It can help with, with your feathers. Okay. So, so guys, um, if you use feathers for your hair, why don't you take this little pointy part at the bottom and stick it into the side of your, of your oval. Perfect, thanks for helping out. And this is also where it's really fun to let the kids get creative. And send your kids around your house, see what they could find for troll hair. I bet you they'll come up with something that I haven't even thought of. I would love to hear what they come up with. They might find some different colored yarns. You could certainly cut that for troll hair. These are wiki sticks which are a random item that we always have in our house. You could certainly use pipe cleaners. That would be very cute for hair. 
This is something that most people have around, toothpicks. You could use Q-tips. One of our favorite things is to use cotton balls and you can pull out the pieces to make silly troll hair like that. If you got really brave, you could have your kids color these. Make sure to put something down because it will get messy. And then one of my favorite items to use in crafts um, is dried pasta because everyone has dried pasta, especially in quarantine, and you can do so much with this. Troll hair with spaghetti or really any shape of pasta that you have around your house. This could be really funny for kids. A little bit smaller, but hey, we're being creative here, right? So I'm gonna go back to my favorite, which are the feathers. Stick them right in. And there you have it. An easy at-home troll Play-Doh activity to do with your kids or by yourself. Can I show everybody your trolls that you made? Let us play. Very out. nice, Leo. Look. Ooh, that's beautiful. Guys, what do you think about doing Play-Doh trolls? Is it a good activity for kids? Yeah. Aw, and who should they follow on Instagram? What's my name on Instagram? Lindsay Meinberg Doe Life. Doe Life, woo! Thanks for helping me, guys. I love you. Is it done? Yeah. Say bye-bye.